Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ricardo and I'm Study Boosted. Welcome to another episode of my back to school series. Today we're talking about procrastination. Summer is over, but your bad lazy habits are not. But since it's time to be back to school, it's important to avoid procrastinating and start working right from the beginning of the semester. That's why today I'm sharing with you my top tips on how to beat procrastination. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This week I'm posting videos every day for my back to school series and I plan on posting a lot, a lot of study related content, so don't forget to subscribe. My first tip is to clean up your space. We are all messy, there is nothing we can do. It's actually thermodynamics, there is nothing you can do in order to avoid chaos. But you can always clean up your space to get back to an equilibrium where you can be productive and get work done. So whenever I feel super lazy and I don't want to work or do anything, the first thing I do is I stand up, I look at my workspace and I can tell you, most of the time it's super messy, so I start by cleaning all of the mess up and that way I start feeling much more productive. My second tip is to F time. We've all been in this position when it's 14.58 and we tell ourselves that we can, you know, still watch that video or still play that game till 15, but then, you know, it's 15.10, then you can wait till 15.15 and so on. When it's time to stop being productive, just stop now. Literally F time. Time does not exist. If you need to get some work done, just get it done now. Like seriously, who cares if you start working at like 5.28? I swear you can start working at 5.28 and the world will not fall apart. My third tip is to study at a desk and not on your bed. I myself used to do that a lot a couple of years ago, but studying on your bed is not good if you want to beat procrastination. If you're laying on your bed, you just feel like being lazy, sleepy, so that just triggers your body into being in this um, procrastination mode. So the best thing to do is to sit up and go to your desk and sit down and start working there. Like seriously, even the fact of standing up and sitting down at a desk makes me feel more productive like already. Tip number four, get one thing done at a time. I know that a lot of people love to do multitasking, but seriously, you only have two hands and your brain can really focus on only one thing at a time. If you are thinking about what you want to eat and at the same time, what you need to study and at the same time, what you want to post on your social media, at the end, you're not doing any of those. Also, the bad thing of this kind of multitasking mode is that it makes you believe that you're actually getting work done when you are not. Because seriously, you get work done when you start it and you finish it. Starting like three different tasks and not finish any of those is just pointless. And you may feel like you were productive, but at the end of the day, you were not because the task was not finished. You still have that project open and that's not what you want to have. So seriously, just stop believing you can do like a thousand things at a time just to do one, but do it till the end and you'll see that you're going to be like much, much more productive at once and you'll finally be able to stop being into this like multitasking slash procrastination mode. Tip number five, don't write a to-do list. I know that this may sound strange, but seriously, a to-do list is there for you to write down things that you need to do, but that you cannot do at the moment. I write a to-do list at night so that I know what I want to do the next day. But seriously, if you've just got back home after school and you want to get work done, just get work done. You don't need to have a to-do list to tell you that. So remember, a to-do list is for future things. It's for things that you cannot get done now. And also, again, when you write a to-do list, you kind of think you're being productive, but definitely you're not because you're writing down things that you should do. So to me, you are kind of procrastinating on actually doing the things. Tip number six, use the five second rule to refocus on what you need to do. Sometimes procrastination can be a little bit tricky. You may be right in the middle of your study session, yet you're not getting anything done. 
If that happens, just step away from what you're currently doing and ask yourself, what am I doing and why am I doing this? Literally, it takes five seconds, but those five seconds can truly help you refocus on the task that you want to do and it can really break that kind of slump that sometimes you feel you are in while you are studying or being productive. Seven, create a productivity habit. The best way to be procrastination is to trigger your mind into entering the productive mode. To give an example, whenever I want to get work done, I always put a certain music on and I make tea. So even by doing these two super, super simple things, my brain knows that it's time to stop procrastinating and it's time to start working on my projects. So when creating your habit, be active. Choose a song or something that you eat or that you drink. Now, if you listen to that song or you drink to that specific tea, only when you are productive, your brain, like seriously, automatically knows that it's time to be productive. So sit down and think about what productivity habit you can start creating for yourself. And I can tell you that after a while, this method will work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in a comment down below what's your favorite anti-progressination tip. Which one did you like the most from my top anti-progressionation tips? Please leave that in a comment down below and, and if you haven't already, go check out all of the previous episodes from this Back to School series. I hope you guys have a great, great day and I'll see you tomorrow in my next Back to School episode. And as usual, stay boosted.